Water damage. We all know someone who suffered from it. I own two apartment buildings. I've seen the costs, pain, and sorrow they cause. And four years ago, I was at family's country home for New Year's Eve dinner. I got a call from a tenant. Their floating floor was really floating. I drove back two hours to the city, picked up my tools, fixed a leak, and went back in time just for New Year's breakfast. And it's not only landlords that suffer from water damage. Insurers, for insurers, a water damage in a, in a multi-dwelling building can cause a six to seven figure loss, of which it can never become profitable again. Hello, I'm Matt. I'm founder and CEO of uh, Ubius. Formerly, I founded and exited cybersecurity companies. After this, I realized, why can't we use the same iTech tools, the same logic we use in cybersecurity, and apply it to the very real problem of water damage? So prevent the water damage before it happens. In cybersecurity, the logic is it's much easier to prevent than to detect and correct. So what we did is we installed our smart water valve at the water mains of each condo unit and it's always shut off. It only opens automatically when the occupant needs water. Most big leaks occur when no one's home, but if there's no water, there's no water leak. The smart ohm may be able to keep your home warm, but at UBS, we believe that it should start by keeping your home dry. This is a smoke detector. You trust your family's life with it. But in a multi-dwelling building, in a condo tower, would you trust all your neighbors not to remove it at the first false alarm? This is why regulations enforce central fire alarm systems and their regular maintenance. But water damage is now the number one reason for insurance claims. And while a solution applies to all homeowners, multi-dwelling buildings have a real problem right now. They're um, both in frequency and impact. Multi-family multiplies the risk, and gravity multiplies the impact. So this is a market of, uh, we're targeting the market of 50 and more units, which is uh, concentrated in only a few metro areas. And they're desperate. Up to 16% of them received non-renewal letters in the last five years. Some face deductibles of half a million dollars. 70% of their claims are from water damage. And in New York City alone, the restoration industry is worth billions of dollars and handles over 500 water damages a day. Only UBS AI-powered monitor centered system can prevent this. So it's a, it's a uh, central platform that feeds IoT data, not only water, but all kinds of information into one central management. So uh, we worked with Intact, the largest insurer in Canada, and they opened five years of data with us. And from there, we worked on them, uh, with them on a program that yields for them 16% more margin and reduces their operational cost 33%. So we, de we deployed our customer pilot in 2016. Uh, since then, Lloyd's, which is their insurer, recognized the solution uh, after that, intact, uh, we're very proud to work with them, and we've uh, started working in the U.S. here in January. We know that you need three key pieces of information for insurance to work, and currently insurers in multi-dwelling buildings on the commercial insurance are lacking some of that data. So they know the asset profile really good, but the customer profile of each of those tenants the activities that are taking place into that building. For example, is there Airbnb going on in that building? Is there subletting? Is there um, uh, activities that increase this risk? So our central monitoring platform feeds all kinds of information, and from there, yes, we can know, we can detect. Is, is there subletting? What's the turn rate? What, uh, what, is the, what are the real risks? So, we are working on our second generation platform 
And at the end of, the, of this year, we will deliver it with a risk management platform for real estate people. Uh, and we'd like to include the insurers in there as well. So I'm Mathieu Lachaine, CEO of Ubius, and we're here to put an end to water damage. Thank you.